Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Lara and I'm creating weekly videos on digital art and everything related to it, from drawing tips to how to sell your art. In today's video we will take a look at some drawing basics and since I have seen Cruella this week, we will try to draw a portrait of Cruella. So let's jump right in with the first tip. Choose your reference. Never work without a reference. I know there are a lot of people saying different things around the internet, but if you truly want to level up your art, you cannot draw without a reference. Second tip, study your reference. Once you have your reference, you need to study it. As a beginner, it helps to do these outlines that I'm doing, so that you know what you are looking at. So you create a circle for the head, you establish the position of the face with these two lines, the vertical line represents the middle of the face and it indicates the direction that your character is facing. And the second one is the line of the eyes. Tip number 3. Know your basic anatomy. So these are well-known proportions of the face, but I think a short reminder will not hurt. So the length of the eyes is the same length as between the eyes, also the length of one eye is the same as the length of the nose, and generally it's the same as the length of the mouth. When I first learned this, I was really blown away by the fact that our faces are so precise. I have a short step-by-step -step on drawing heads on my Instagram page as well, so feel free to check it out and save it for further use. I will link it in the description below. Tip number 4. Sketch what you understood. Now, you have to put aside your outlines and open a new canvas, keep your clean reference close and start sketching the outlines as best as you understood them. It takes some time and practice, but you will see that the more you break down what you see and then draw that, the better you will get with each drawing. The point is to train your observation skills and your hand-eye coordination. Tip number 5. Make full use of your digital tools. If you are a digital artist, you have some really useful tools that will save you a lot of time. I am using Procreate for this sketch, but most of these tools are in a lot of other drawing programs as well. First of all, flip your canvas. This can give you a fresh look over your drawing and you can better see what doesn't look good. So what to do when something looks slightly out of place? You use Liquify. One of the best tools of digital art, you can push and pull your sketch until it looks just right. These are my 5 tips for you when it comes to drawing the portrait. Here is my finished line art and I tried to stick as close as possible to the sketch and to the reference, but of course there will be stylizations brought to this portrait because that's what we do as artists, we stylize. Unless of course you want to make the replica of the photo, which is admirable, but I personally am not going for realism in my art. If you want to see how I create the line art and how I proceed towards coloring the portrait, you are in luck because you can get your hands for free on a one hour class on this topic. My class on stylized portraits is now on Skillshare. I uploaded it again this week after tweaking some of the audio quality and you can reach it using the link in the description. The best part for you if you join this class on Skillshare, aside from the step-by-step -step process and the free resources that you get, is the fact that you will get individual personalized feedback on your entry if you submit your own assignment. How cool is that? You just follow the class, draw along and create your own portrait following my instructions and you submit your work on the platform. Then you will get critique on your work and pointers on what you can improve. Now, if you don't have a Skillshare premium account, don't worry because I've got you covered with that as well. Use the second link in the description to claim your free 14 days of the platform with no obligation to pay Skillshare if you do not like the experience or if you simply cannot afford it right now. But you can use my link and if you do, you will have access to all the courses on the platform, not just mine, so you have everything to gain for two weeks with no obligation. 
that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.